here's what happened. I went down and I went to uh, Linden Restoration and Auto met Eric Reed, and here's what happened. All right, hi everybody. It's me, Danny Allen, with KJS Channel 14 and the home team. I'm in Linden here at the Linden Collision Center to do an Entrepreneur of the Week look. A gentleman by the name of Eric Reed, he's the co-owner of the place here. Here's why we're looking at it. Brought one of my cars down here to have a little paint work done on it. Started talking to Eric and uh, just through conversation, Chit Chat found out that about 70% of his clients were women. So we're gonna take a look at that. We'll meet some of the staff, take a look at the business here for the Entrepreneur of the Week, Eric Reed here at the Linden Collision Center. Okay, we are now going into the restricted area. Only I could get access in here. Yeah, host of the show, that's how that works. We're gonna meet Eric Reed. Here he is right here. Hey, Danny. Thanks for having us, bud. Hey. Eric Reed, co-owner of the place. Uh, we talked to Deborah out front. We're gonna talk to you. We're gonna meet some of the guys, take a look at the facility here. Uh, as I was telling everybody, a uh, good portion of your business is women. Yes, okay. it sure is. Uh, what got you into this? Why, why this kind of business? Is this like a family business? Did your dad do it? Did you come from this kind of thing? You just like cars or what? I started in the mil military. Oh, really? And what did you do I in the military? There. I was an electrical and mechanical repairman. Nice. So I started with that, and then I started at the bottom like everybody else has to start. So what's your favorite thing to work on here, bud? My favorite thing to work on? You personally. Is you German still cars. In. Really? Yeah. Really? I German love German cars. My first nine years of my career, I worked on German cars. Okay, we're gonna take a look around the shop, see what's going on. Uh, you need to point out which one of these, or ones of these guys are your kids, and what they do. Do you have any kids in here? I sure working? do. His name is Justin. He is all the way to the back working on brakes. My <laughs> son is into repairing cars, okay. and he basically grew up with me in re me repairing cars. I've been doing it for 20 years. I mean, he's been there the whole time. I mean. He will eventually take this over. Okay, so it's going to be him. So it's a family deal, yeah, right? Yeah, and it is a family deal now. So it's a family business. Okay, here's the reason I even got here in the first place, based on a recommendation from a friend of mine. I brought my car in. This is my Mustang here. Uh, obviously, need a little bit of work, so Eric is finishing off the front end, doing some paint, fixing and that. So we get to talking. And uh, here's what happened. You've been getting people coming in, asking about gas mileage, how can I get better gas mileage, that type of thing, right? Uh, what I thought was cool is you took the time, money, and effort to go back to school. Well, you I went to school to learn how to change cars over to natural gas. Okay. And I found out that there's a lot of people in this state, actually, that want to change their cars over because of the price of gas mileage. Okay. And I was looking at it more as environment, and the health of our kids in this state. And I wanted to change them over so we had a safer environment for okay. our kids. The cost of natural gas, how much is it? Can you get it? Is it available? It is about 86 cents a gallon. Okay, under a buck a gallon. But does the uh, miles per gallon stay the same? Same miles per gallon no matter what you do. Okay, so it's just gonna be way better because it's costing you a quarter of the amount. Yeah. All right, what I wanna do is I wanna take a look at some of the cars, some of the work that Eric has done here, some of the uh, restoration side of things, okay? but. Bottom line, Eric, why do you think, why do you think so many women come here, bring their cars here, or bring their husband's cars here, or they're comfortable doing this? What's the deal? Actually, because they trust us. Okay. But, I mean, a lot of these hot rods and stuff are out here, a lot of them are owned by women. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. See? my friend. This one is, is probably one of my favorites. So you got to tell us a little bit about this thing. His wife had a lot to do with this, oh, building yeah. this car. She made a lot of decisions on this. And... So did she come in and sit down with you and say, I want it to look like this, I want this, this, and that? Well, actually, they have a brother that's a designer. And okay. she kind of sits down with him. She sat down with him and said, I want this. That's awesome. Yeah. See who makes a decision. <laughs> Eric. One of the things people are concerned about, okay, uh, nobody wants to get in an accident with their car, right? Your family, your kids are in there. They want to make sure the car is repaired properly by guys that know what they're doing. All of the guys in your shop have to go to school, have to be certified. What do they do? They go to iCar training. Okay. And what they do is they go train on certain cars. And, I mean, there's a lot of women that don't want to put their kids in cars unless they've been repaired right. Oh, yeah, it better I mean, be, you're, right? you're putting your life in my hands sure. to repair your car right. And when it gets in another accident or something else happens, you want to make sure your family's safe. There you have it. That is our look at the Entrepreneur of the Week, Eric Reed. 
Eric, Thanks, Danny. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. It's a family business geared towards women. So if you've got any questions about repair, about restoration, get hold of this guy. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks.